Shalom. Our verse for today is Psalm 95 verse 8. Do not harden your heart as at Meribah, as at the day of Massa in the desert. Psalm 95 is a call to worship and obedience. It is the most common invitatory psalm that we use at Lord's, that is, the morning prayer of the breviary. The psalm begins with an imperative, like who? Come, inviting people to sing and make joyful noise to Adonai, who is the rock of our salvation. After a rundown of God's great accomplishments in creation, a further invitation to worship God our Maker, a reminder that we belong to God as sheep of His pasture, the psalmist turned his attention to the issue of obedience. He invites us to listen and not harden our hearts. Oh, that today you will listen to his voice, he says, harden not your heart. The word takshu from the noun kasha has the basic meaning of being hard, harsh, or cruel. With reference to persons, kasha is used to describe them as hardened, stubborn, obstinate, etc. This attitude of being hardened is usually towards other people or towards God. In our verse, it is stubbornness towards God. The stubbornness that the psalmist wants us to avoid is the type that had occurred at Meribah as at the day of Massa in the desert. The terms Meribah and Massa were used in Exodus chapter 17 verse 7 to identify the place where the Israelites quarreled and tested Adonai. These terms have meanings. Meribah means strife, rebellion, provocation, and Massa means test or temptation. This explains why the Greek translation of the Old Testament, that is the Septuagint, uses to parapikrasmo for Meribah, which means rebellion, and to pairasmu, which means temptation. In the King James Version, the verse is translated, Harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When the Israelites had crossed the Red Sea and journeyed into the desert towards the Promised Land, they got thirsty along the way and quarreled with Moses saying, Give us water to drink, Exodus chapter 17 verse 2. The Father challenged Moses saying, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and livestock with thirst, Exodus chapter 17 verse 3. God then instructed Moses on what to do in order to get water for the people, verses 5 and 6. After that, the narrator states that the place was then called Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and tested Adonai saying, Is Adonai among us or not? That is, they doubted if God was with them. The event at Meribah and Massa is interpreted in Psalm 95 verse 8 as stubbornness of heart. Thus, to be stubborn of heart means to be rebellious and to test God, that is, to be impatient with God, presuming that He is incapable. The stubbornness that Meribah implies is that which is willful or deliberate, especially of a child towards its parents or Israel towards God. So we are talking of an intentional act. The hardened heart can be compared to a stone, emotionless and impenetrable. When the heart is hardened, it is closed up against God and against other people. But the Lenten season presents us with an occasion to soften our hearts and allow God to mold us into His children. Until we learn to obey God's voice, our voice or our worship of Him is useless. Allow God to transform you during this Lent. Let us pray. Lord, create in me a new heart and put in me the spirit of obedience. Amen.